Hey everyone, Ryzen here. In this video, I will guide you through creating a single page resume that can be exported as PDF. Built with React in TypeScript, this app is designed to help you effectively showcase your professional experience. You can view the final product and access the source code by following the link in the description. I will also share prompts you can use with AI tools like ChatGPT to generate content for your resume and LinkedIn profile. Feel free to fork the project and effortlessly create a sleek, high-quality resume of your own. To kick off this project, I will start by forking the Ryzen Kit repository. The starter kit includes all the essential tools and configurations needed to create a Next.js app and deploy it seamlessly to AWS. Our single resume page will be styled within a container that provides padding and a contrasting background color to the resume. For smaller screens, I will optimize the layout by removing the padding from the container and adjusting the resume body radius, aspect ratio and max width. To enhance SEO, we set meta tags like title and description for our resume page. This is achieved using the page meta tags component, which dynamically inserts all the necessary meta tags into the Next.js head element. These tags help search engines better understand the content of the page, improving its visibility and ranking. Instead of crafting the title and description manually, I will leverage AI to generate them. This is where the prompt directory in the project comes into play. The context.md file is the core of the prompt directory. Here I include detailed information about my professional experience, the job I'm looking for, previous roles, responsibilities, technologies used, and relevant projects. Providing thorough and specific details help the AI generate precise and relevant content for the resume. When using ChatGPT, I start by pasting the content of context.md into the prompt field. ChatGPT will acknowledge with a simple yes, allowing me to follow up with another prompt. For example, to generate meta tags, I could ask ChatGPT to write title and description meta tags for my resume page. To streamline the process of updating the resume, it's helpful to save all such prompts in a separate file. This way, I can quickly copy and paste them into ChatGPT whenever needed, ensuring consistency and saving time on future updates. With the responsive page container ready and meta tags configured for SEO, the next step is the resume component. This component acts as the main structure of the resume consisting of a container with four key sections, header, jobs, projects, and contacts. To make the resume page resemble a single PDF sheet, I set an aspect ratio and a fixed max width to ensure it fits within standard dimensions. The container has no padding, allowing sections dividers to span the full width. Padding is applied directly to child elements for consistent spacing. For printing, I remove the border and border radius so the content fill the entire page. The header highlights the most important information. It starts with the name and two tags, one showing years of experience and the other indicating a CS degree. The CS degree appears here instead of in a dedicated section as it is not a standout detail worth emphasizing separately. Below the name, there is a line listing technologies and skills. Primary skills use a contrasting color, while secondary skills appear in a supporting color followed by a plus sign. To enable printing the resume, I keep a reference to the resume component and pass it to the download resume component, which uses a library to convert the content into a PDF when the download button is clicked. The download resume button is styled to remain hidden during printing, ensuring it does not appear on the printed resume. The job section comes next, listing full-time job experiences. Since my current focus is on Web3 and crypto roles, I have split this section into two parts. One highlights my work at Web3 companies and the other covering my previous full-stack experience. The resume section component separates sections with the line positioning the title in the center. It organizes the content into a two-column layout with a specialized grid component. The job experience component takes in a set of properties that shape how each professional role is presented. This includes position, company, company icon, started at, finished at, and responsibilities. Position is a specific role held at the company. Company is the organization's name. Company icon is an optional symbol. 
started at and finished at indicate the dates of employment and responsibilities is an array of duties, achievements or contributions. At the top, this can point highlight the position and the company's name and can display an icon if available. Just below the header, the employment duration shown, followed by the start and end dates. Each responsibility is then separated by a dot, ensuring the content is easy to scan. To populate the responsibilities for each job, I use a dedicated prompt that directs the AI to incorporate a component for highlighting technologies and another component for linking to previously mentioned projects. After the job experience section, I move on to the project section, which includes three items, my productivity app increaser, a full stack development toolkit writing kit, and my YouTube channel writing dev. Each personal project is represented by the personal project component, which is responsible for displaying the project's key details in a structured and engaging format. It accepts several props, and I will now describe each one. The name prop is a project's title permanently displayed, the URL prop is a link to have the live project or its repository, the description prop provides a brief summary of the project's purpose and features. The primary start prop is a highlight of key metrics that provide additional insight in the project's impact or performance. The icon prop is an optional visual element, such as logo or icon, to help brand or differentiate the project. Here I also use an AI prompt to generate the description for each project. To make the resume more engaging, consider adding a dynamic primary statistic, such as the number of GitHub stars a project has. This is achieved through a custom hook that fetches the star count directly from the public GitHub API, no authentication required. Incorporating a live metric like this can lend authenticity and help your resume stand out. When it comes to YouTube, directly querying subscribers count from the front end is not as straightforward. To handle this, I have set up a simple API endpoint that returns the current number of subscribers for the Resident Dev channel. If you're interested in learning more about how to make an API using a TypeScript monorepo, check out the video in the description. Finally, I display the contacts in the footer using link components. Each link includes an icon, the contact's name, and a URL. Our website is just a single static page, so I will deploy to AWS S3 and serve it through CloudFront. To set up most of the infrastructure, I will use Terraform. I will not get into the details about deploying the website here, since there is a dedicated video and accompanying guide about it, which you can check in the description. Before wrapping up, remember that the process does not end here. Keep refining your content, leveraging AI prompts for updates, and showcasing your work in the most engaging way possible. Stay tuned for more videos where I will dive deeper into related topics and share additional resources. Until then, good luck with building your own standout resume app.